So we're gonna talk then? You talk? Okay. Okay. Hello and welcome. My name is Alexis McKenzie, JC Penny Realty, and this is Arlene Murray, JC Penny Realty. Yep. We are going to talk to you today about how much money you need in the bank to consider purchasing a home. That's right. So I'm going to play the part of the consumer. Arlene is going to be the realtor. Yes, I am. Which she is very does very well at. Uh, and I'm going to ask her some questions. So Arlene, I am thinking of buying a home. Yeah. Worth uh, about let's say two hundred thousand dollars. That's a good point. Good price point. How much down payment do I need to make that happen? Well, the least possible would be, say you were going FHA, uh, you're looking at three and a half percent. And how much would that be? So, three and a half percent times <laughs> 200,000, you're looking at $7,000 down payment. Wow. Okay. okay, that's more than I was thinking. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, once I start the home buying process, are there other things I'm going to have to pay for? Yes, there are. First thing you're going to need is from this seven thousand, you could do your escrow deposit. So whether it's a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, whatever it is, that's applied to your closing costs at the end of the day. What is an escrow, real quick? Uh, it's the money you're giving in good faith to the seller or to the title company to hold for the contract to say. Uh, your, this is your consideration, your part of the contract. So you're willing to put that $3,000 or $2,000 to show that you're serious about purchasing their home. So here's my commitment. Take the, the, the house off the market so, and don't show it to anybody else. Give me an opportunity uh, to try okay. and buy it. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, besides that, you're going to need to do the home inspection. Once you're on the contract, the very next thing would be to do the home inspection. Uh, typically, it's about 450 starts about 450 if you add pool inspection or wind mitigation or WDO. It could go up as high as, say, $550, $600. I like to overestimate so that you are pleasantly surprised that it came in under versus like, okay. oh my gosh, she told me only this, but yeah. it's so much more. So I like to overestimate just for caution. Okay. Besides that, you're also going to need another upfront cost to you is the appraisal that uh, runs about five, five fifty, depending on the size of the house, of course. So you, let's say, five hundred and fifty dollars again, playing it on the safe side. Okay. So we're at about five fifty. Let's say eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars out of pocket just for those two items that you're going to need. The appraisal and the home inspection. Yes. So that you're at three and a half percent, seven thousand plus the. Escrow. Escrow and the appraisal, that's like another 1500 Let's round it off, say 8500 thereabout. Okay, so we're yeah. up to 8500 Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what are closing costs? I've heard that term before as well. And how much are those? Uh, that's where the, well, I prefer to, again, overestimate to be on the safe side. So I would say maybe uh, 7%. 7% off the purchase price. So on a $200,000 house, you're looking at roughly $14,000. That would include your 3.5%, the money for your home inspection, the money for your appraisal, and the mortgage company is gonna escrow other items. They're gonna escrow for the home insurance. They're gonna escrow for the principal and interest for at least three months. There is, if there's a homeowners association, they're ex escrowing for advance payment for these as well. You're paying for transfer tax, um, you're paying for the survey. These are some of the other costs that's involved in your closing costs. Wow, lots of numbers. Lots yes. of numbers, lots of numbers. It's mm -hmm. best to sit with your mortgage broker, go over each item, find out what your uh, closing cost is, and they'll send you um, the closing disclosure before you close, at least three days before you close, line by line items, interest taxes, everything that you're responsible for, so you have an idea what you bring to the table. Okay, so to sum it up, we're looking at 3.5% down on the mm -hmm. mortgage. Mm -hmm. We're looking at about 1,000 to 1,500 for the appraisals, home inspections, everything. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the escrow, but that is goes towards... It's, yes, closing. It goes on the closing disclosure and towards the closing your closing. cost is about three to 6%, really just depending on the mortgage and the lender, correct? Right, so we're saying, all in, we're looking at about seven, seven to eight percent. Okay, yes. so I'm looking by a two hundred thousand dollar home. I should approximately have about fourteen thousand dollars on hand, yeah, at least, which is a lot of money. It's not yes, but somebody can give you some of that money. You can. Are you going to give me money? Gift. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Speak to your mortgage broker more about getting gifts and about bonds for down payment. 
Oh, so somebody else would actually use somebody the government else's might help me? money. Yes. Yeah. So there's programs out there that we can look into. Yes. Okay. So having fourteen thousand dollars is not necessary, but it is the approximate amount. That's All right. correct. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.